It's a new beginning, a new season. Believe in what you want to do. It starts tonight. time of year, fellas. Every play is important. This is where you put everything you got into it. And I want it from everybody. We need it from you. We got a chance to be a playoff football team and a chance to be a winner for the first time, okay? Let's go get them both done. We win the game with this crew of bodies right here today. Let's go. Ford steps over the man into the end zone, and you can put it in the books. Wouldn't matter whether we'd have won this game or lost this game, but you got the hearts of Lions. Good things, bad things, it doesn't matter. That's who you are. That's what carries us from here to where we're going. We're not carrying the sins of these old teams here forward. This is our deal. Now it's time to put the throttle down. You want to win the division, you beat the division teams.
Congratulations, Coach. You're doing you. well early in your career. You're doing well. You. Appreciate that. Remember when I called your dad's game at Western Kentucky? Yep. How about that? I'll tell him you said, hey. Yeah, I'll tell him I will. Tell him I said I'll that. tell him tonight. He'd appreciate oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah. You know, tonight it was just yesterday. Yeah, isn't that funny how life goes? Oh, man? yeah. And it goes just like that. I mean, you, 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 you know? look at the two of us. Yeah. Who the hell are we? Yeah. We're standing out yeah. here in Gillette Stadium. That's exactly right. Two minutes left last in the game. Last year I worked the Super Bowl. Last year I made the call in the end zone to catch. You made that? Yeah. And uh, it, that, that's, was, it was awesome. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's history. Yeah. On the road to the Super Bowl, making history is the goal. But it's also important to enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh, boy! Oh, I'm enjoying it. This, this is going to be a hell of a game. I'm, but you know what, John? I would enjoy it now. A sense of humor can smooth the occasional bump in the road. Oh! Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was a cup check right there. No, I'm all right. You want to bet a cheeseburger that they go deep on us the first play? <laughs> I bet they will. I want a medium, medium rare. Ironically, it's when the stakes go beyond fast food that a coach's blood pressure can really rise. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Hey, we don't have a holding back there? We don't got a holding back there? Oh, wow. How's that not a holding back there? I can't get an intentional ground, even though the ball hit the lineman right in the back here. If it's accidental, it's not a foul. Yeah. It ain't accidental. Eli, you know Eli not going to scramble unless somebody grabs somebody. I mean, come on, you kidding me? Do me a favor, write me a letter and say, you know, I called the right call when you look at it. Because I think you're going to kick yourself for, for calling that particular roughing. That was pass interference. Coach, that was pass interference. pass interference. Well, you're wrong. You better start okay. looking at some yeah, tape. Okay. Yeah. You better start studying. Yeah. I can study every day I can coach. Yeah, I don't know about that. You know, this, this stuff is way too complicated. That's for rocket scientists. This is football. How'd you miss that one? Two guys standing on the line. You're all over this game. You packed it in about a month ago. I don't understand what we got to do to get a flag called on them. I know this is America's team, but this is ridiculous. In 2009, 33-year-old Josh McDaniels got the Broncos off to a 6-0 start. The league's second youngest head coach had a red-hot temperament and a blue-blood pedigree. Like former boss Bill Belichick, McDaniels sported a hoodie and preached a message. seen what we can do because it doesn't even look like a football team out there. You got to hit it. I'm not talking about my bad anymore. Just make the play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. McDaniel's passion was firecracker bright. John Harbaugh's steady burn guided the Ravens through an uneven season. Get a foot in the ground, get in front of them and block their like we said, and we will win this game. What we said back when we were one and one, and everybody was talking about what we couldn't do and what we wouldn't do and what we shouldn't do, right? What did we say? Keep digging. Keep digging. And we also said, with a sword in the other hand, right? Right there it is. Be careful with this thing. This is for real. At 9-7, and seven, Baltimore hacked its way into the playoffs, then sliced clean through the Patriots. Run! 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 through a lot, man. Adversity-wise, we've had a lot of tough games. You know, it, it, it hardens you. You know, it really does. And we fought through. Like, and our guys kept their poise. You know, like, all the penalties and things we've had. It's true. You got to fight through that. You know, they do. It's how you become something. You know, it's how you become what you are. In 2009, nobody faced more adversity than Marvin Lewis and the Cincinnati Bengals. It's your football team. Find a way to fix it. Reach down inside and be a pro. A slow start on the field was followed by tragedy off it. The sudden deaths of defensive coordinator Mike Zimmer's wife and of wide receiver Chris Henry. This is an emotional game for emotional teams. It's about what we're feeling right now. Hey, I see them. I feel them all over. 15 is hurt. We're going to do 
Let's go now, poise, poise. We gotta play smart now, let's go. Finish the game. Let's go win the game, let's go, let's go to work. 27 seconds to play, they must get into the end zone. Palmer to throw. throw yeah. on the field, Caldwell, touchdown! The Bengals have the lead with 22 seconds to play. Yeah. My wife loves all of you. She, she's proud of, proud of you, Every, win or lose, she's proud of you. And I just appreciate you, all of you all Throwing long. Got him. Got him out there. Come on. It is caught inside the five. <laughs> Touchdown, Ocho yeah. Cinco. And Ocho Cinco will take a knee and look up to the heavens. This is Chad Ocho Cinco remembering Mr. Henry. The Bengals kept pushing. They went undefeated in the AFC North and earned just their second winning season in 18 years. Hey, hey, let's go, they don't score if we win. Takes the snap, throws. Up in the air, picked off. Yeah. 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 You're not going to catch Jonathan Benene. He's going into the end zone for a touchdown. Bengals are the AFC North champions. Marvin Lewis's team not only survived, it excelled. For that, he was the NFL's coach of the year. There's two more of those hats you can gain. This isn't the final hat we want this year. Stafford takes the snap, sets in the pocket, rolls left. This is going to be it. He's got to get rid of it. Stafford sets, looks, now running back to his right. Stafford looking for somewhere to go. Oh. In week 11, rookie Matthew Stafford took a hit. Oh. Yeah, get off me. And then he got back up and finished the game. I can throw the ball if you need me to throw the ball. Is Stafford coming back in? I think Stafford will come back in the game. For Broadway shows, openings are crucial. But in the NFL, what matters most is how you finish. Touchdown, Detroit Lions! That kid just showed some real grit. When it's all going wrong and you don't know what to do, that's the time to be strong when it all depends. The New York Giants and Denver Broncos were undefeated in September, but both fizzled down the stretch and missed the playoffs. Overthrows Moss and it's intercepted. He had him wide open. Make believe you're a hero. Make rainbows out of rain. Make believe you're a hero. The Tennessee Titans didn't win a game until November, but nearly made the playoffs with an 8 and 2 finish. Their marquee player was Chris Johnson, who finished in the end zone 16 times. CJ weaving his way to Painter. Johnson rushed for over 2,000 yards and set an NFL record for yards from scrimmage. Two thousand nine featured some fashion faux pas, but passing was definitely in style. Are you throwing this ball deep? All day. First pass is going wrong, man. Hey. An NFL record ten quarterbacks passed for over four thousand yards. Ben Roethlisberger throws for five. It seemed everything that was thrown was caught. How did he do that? Nice catch. Nice catch. But not everything that was caught was kept. Brandon Marshall breaks the NFL record with 21 receptions. The stars can mingle with the crowd at intermission. 
but a director or head coach is always worried about the details. Second down is going to be our emphasis this afternoon. Second down. I have down a 925 water break. 935. 935 water break. We obviously don't want them driving the golf carts, okay? Liability issues. Yeah. Rookie head coach Jim Caldwell had the right guy behind the wheel. Peyton Manning won his second straight MVP and fourth overall. And the great one does it again. When the two great ones met in week 10, Tom Brady's team led by six late in the fourth quarter. Facing fourth and two, the Patriots went for it. It is short of the first down. It is short of the Colts take over. Did we just witness them go for it on fourth down on their own 28? Yep. Well, now the Colts have to make them pay for it. Manning looks for the quick throw. Throws to Reggie. Heck of a win. Heck of a win. Now that's an instant classic, right? <laughs> After beating the arch rival Patriots, Indianapolis was headed toward the history books. A devastating blow to the Texans' hopes of beating Goliath. 11 0. Going for that 12 0. 13 0. 14 0. You ought to give yourself a hand clap for that. Man. Indy took a bow, and their starters took a seat. T, look at this that little kid right there. That a boy. The guy in the white 18 jersey right there. Yeah, give it to him. Curtis Painter is the quarterback. What the The understudies finished the final two games, both losses. Jets come to Indianapolis, they end the Colts' undefeated season, and they will celebrate the gift that Jim Caldwell gave them. Wake up, it's a new day, better make way for a smile. Wake up, toss the gray shade. The Colts sacrificed perfection in the hopes of playoff success. The finish they wanted was a Lombardi trophy, and the Colts took another step toward the Super Bowl in the divisional playoffs. The Colts are gonna play for the AFC Championship. The game is over, and New York Jets are the world champions. For 41 years, the Jets' road to the Super Bowl has been under construction. In 2009, they turn to a familiar family to finish the work. For me, this is like a dream job because I go back 40 years. My dad, his first year in professional coaching was with the Jets and they won the Super Bowl. To me, this is a proud history. Yes, it's been 40 years, but this organization, it's something to be proud of. Maybe the Jets haven't won a Super Bowl since my dad's been gone, but now the Ryans are back in and I think it's, it's gonna help us. Okay, good, we got one guy that f***ed up. Good, come on back, that was, that was awful, come on back. Despite his team's youth, Rex Ryan was defiant about the Jets' chances. I'm not gonna concede anything. Do I recognize the fact that Belichick's a heck of a coach? Absolutely, but uh, my thing is I'm not intimidated by him or anybody else in this business. Ryan's confidence was contagious. New York jumped out to its best start in six seasons. How about Mark Sanchez? He'll become the first NFL rookie to win three games starting the season. But the growing pains of starting a rookie quarterback caught up to the Jets, who lost six of their next seven games. Sanchez the throw from the end zone under pressure. And the ball pops out. Loose in the end zone. The Saints jump after it, and they recover. A touchdown. The fifth interception thrown today by Mark Sanchez, a demoralizing home loss for the Jets. And as we've said over and over again, the continuing education of a rookie quarterback.
Ryan recast the team in his image. Jets football would be about toughness. They would ground and pound their way to lead the league in rushing. Go, go, get a block, get a block, go, go, With Rex go, Ryan go, all the way down the sideline running with him and congratulating Thomas Jones. The tenacity carried over to their defense. The NFL's top-ranked unit was sparked by all-pro Darrell Rivas. This, in my opinion, was the best year a corner has ever had, the most impact a corner has ever had in the National Football League. That's ours, baby! Yeah! With the ball bouncing their way again, New York picked up momentum for a playoff run. They have breathed a lot of life back into a dead season, and they have put themselves back in the AFC wild card picture. However, a last-minute loss to the Falcons in Week 15 appeared to be an impassable roadblock for the Turnpike Terrors. Whew, hugely disappointing game. This you know, obviously is tough because now, you know, we're obviously out of the playoffs, and, and that's unfortunate. Ryan was mistaken. The Jets needed only to win their final two games to reach the postseason. Manning, Clark, Adai, <laughs> Reggie Wayne, Freeney, Mathis, Brackett. All those guys will not play. Oh, hold up. That was my wish list for Santa Claus. Hold up. Ryan's wish was granted in the second half. The Colts pulled their starters, and the Jets pulled off the upset. The Jets come to Indianapolis, they end the Colts' undefeated season, and if they beat the Bengals next week, the Jets are in the playoffs. Unbelievable. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, we need this game. The game was the essence of Jets football. New York rushed for over 250 yards and shut out the Bengals. The celebration is on, and the Jets are headed to the playoffs. Hey, man, you brought a crazy mentality here, man. We, we bought into it, man. Everybody appreciates you. We love playing for you. Hell yeah! Let's get this game ball. Let's get this game ball to coach, man. Despite their underdog status, Ryan proclaimed his team favorites to win the whole tournament. Let's go, baby. Huh? Here we go. Worked all year for this fight. Let's go. Hey. He's open. Sanchez pumps once, fires it deep right side, and it's caught by Keller at the 20, down the sideline to the 10, run out of bounds, right at the pylon. Touchdown! Yeah. Oh! Here comes the Jet Blitz. Palmer throws one down the right sideline. It is intercepted by Darrell Rivas. The Jets are on to the divisional round with a rookie quarterback and a rookie head coach. Next time, maybe somebody should have alerted me that we still had a chance to make the playoffs. Because <laughs> every time it's like, well, even their fat coach said that they were out of the playoffs. The Chargers wish that had been the case. The Jets brought an end to San Diego's 11-game winning streak. the thing about football. It allows men to be boys. Woo! Yes! This thing's going to <laughs> Love it, come on, let's go! And boys to be men. Go, it's your team, no question. Take us where we can go, man. Let's go, man. You got it. Let's just play together and good things happen. It lets some come of age, and others show that age is just a number. That's a nice 40th birthday for the old man. I appreciate it. Team on three, one, two, three, team. 
Brett Favre's most recent team likely expected the old man to play a supporting role to Adrian Peterson. I can't stop you. The only one can stop you is you. I, and I've been around a long time. I ain't never been up around nobody like you. And who could have blamed him the way Peterson started the season? Across the 50, inside the 40, and Adrian Peterson is gone! But by week three, Favre was the star of this show. Niners lead by four. Favre back to pass, pumps to the left, eight seconds left. He gets away from the pressure, fires to the end zone! It's His season played out like a movie, where he was cast as both hero and villain. Back to pass, looking right. He pumps, now he fires. Caught Jango inside the five, touchdown! Brett Favre is destroying his former team. Favre beat his old team twice, and once again, became the focus of the football world. Being an offensive coordinator is freaking hard. You gotta try playing quarterback sometimes. Favre made playing the position look easy. He had career highs in completion percentage and quarterback rating. But it was his career low in interceptions, just seven, that was most surprising. He's going to go deep for Sidney Rice. said that. Right. Now you're starting to believe me. You guys got the same agents or what? I ought to be his. Barb was surrounded by the best talent money could buy. How many TV timeouts we got today? It takes a lot to pay yourself. <laughs> you shouldn't be about this at all. Led by their league high 10 Pro Bowlers, the Vikings raced to a 10 and 1 record. But when December arrived, things got a little frosty between Favre and head coach Brad Childress. Why did Brad Childress try to sit Brett Favre on Sunday? Is it a sign there may be bigger problems in Minnesota? And nobody ever said it's going to be easy, boys. After losing three of four games, the Vikes righted the ship in the season finale, putting a tumultuous December behind them. December in Dallas recently has signaled sunset to the season, but the Cowboys' brightest star was determined to eclipse the past in 2009. Hey, what that Romo mean on the back? What's that, what's that mean? Superman. <laughs> Scrambles, rushed, avoids a sack, hit, stays on his feet, running up the middle, throws it in the end zone, touchdown! Woo! You kidding me? Tony Romo teamed with super sidekick Miles Austin to power the league's second best offense. Austin saved the day! The Cowboys win in overtime! But come December, they lost two straight and looked lost in the process. <laughs> Dallas saved its season by beating the undefeated Saints in week 15. There's no stopping us now, man. There's no Back-to-back -back wins over the Eagles gave the Cowboys a division title and their first playoff win in 13 years. The Cowboys have erased a lot of ghosts. They're playing as good a football as anybody in the NFL. Now, this team has never lost a playoff game. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We're going to Minnesota to win another one next week. All right? All right? Hey, you ready? Heart of a champion right here. Heart of a champion. In the divisional playoff. He's under pressure. Sacked. 
The team that led the NFL in sacks had six more. Tony Romo had no time. Brett Favre continued to make time stand still. Sidney Rice single coverage. He caught it. Touchdown. He rolls out to the right. He stops. Makes a man miss. Fires. Caught Sidney wide open. Touchdown. Brett Favre is not supposed to do that at 40 years old. You guys live in a desert. You should play football. He's living in a desert. In 2009, the Arizona Cardinals' attempt to defend their NFC championship met stiff resistance. But in his final season, Kurt Warner guided the Cardinals to their second consecutive NFC West title. Cardinals going to win their 10th game of the year. That'll be their most in the regular season in 33 years. You guys are getting pretty good at this. When nobody believes you can do something, the real team comes out. Welcome to the NFL playoffs. The Green Bay Packers take on the Arizona Cardinals. We are going to throw the ball and burn your face off to win. The Cardinals wild card game against the Packers was an instant classic. It is 31 to 10 Cardinals with 11.15 to go here in the third. Do the Packers climb back into this game before the fourth quarter? Touchdown! Great, great, great catch. catch! The two teams combined for 96 points, the most ever in a postseason NFL game. We're tied at 45. How did this happen? We are heading to overtime. Third and five at the 25-yard line of Green Bay. Oh, come on, Dave. A minute gone by in overtime. Rodgers dropping back in trouble. Rodgers hit. Ball came out. Cardinals have it. Dan's He's going to score. Cardinals win. And the game is over. We have just witnessed NFL history, legend, and lore. Let's go from the top. One, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 nine, ten,
He'll hand it off. Hightower running right side to the 40, 45, 50. Concerns about rust seem justified after Arizona's first play from scrimmage. Touchdown. Once again, the Saints are behind the eight ball. Don't say it'll be easy. Quinn Sulkin, get the look off your face. Hey, we're going. Let's go. Let's do something. Warner steps up and throws it, and it's intercepted. Will Smith. Flat on his face. But in the end, New Orleans scraped off the rust and found Saints gold underneath. A brilliant throw by Breeze. Oh, win the Saints. Go marching in. Oh, win the Saints. Go marching in. Oh, Lord, I want to be in that number. Oh, win the Saints. Go marching in. Bush has done it all today. And the road to the Super Bowl continues to be through New Orleans in the NFC. the course. We keep hitting them. We'll be all right. Peyton Manning, and the Colts have 
taking the lead. No one's going to be a dog fight. Let's go. Hand it off. Thomas, big hole right side. Pierre Thomas all the way to the goal line. Yes. He's in. Let's go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good job. All right, let's go answer. Let's go answer. This is a battle royale, and you have to love the way this Viking club is refusing to go down. The handoff, Adrian, left side, lowers the helmet, and violently runs into the end zone. It's the Vikings 21 and the Saints 21. Felt like a magic carpet ride for the Jets over the past few weeks. But they came up against Peyton Manning. Six points. Come on. And he was at his best. Takes to a die. Look, throws up the Dallas touchdown. Just kills you, man. Dallas Clark. Make a mistake against this guy, Berger. Let's hit this guy. Steps up, can't find anybody, rolls to his right, looks around, throws to the yeah. one-yard line, and it is going to be touchdown! Yes! Game's tied at 28. Fine. Because Brett Favre is the quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings, and he is one of the best quarterbacks in the history of the NFL at executing a two-minute drill. Brett Favre goes back to pass, he pumps. Intercepted, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Oh. This is not Detroit, man, this is the Super Bowl. We are going to overtime. Just hit your kick though, son. Here's why, you deserve to be here. Come on, baby. One time for you, boy. Let's go to the Super Bowl, boys, right here. Kicked by Hartley. On the road to the Super Bowl, two teams remained. What followed was a dogfight for a prize only one could win. For the New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl 44 took place in rarefied air. Sean Payton has lifted the franchise to new heights by taking risks that would leave other coaches breathless. The outside kick's an easy one. It's just a, you know, just a down, you know, across the line of scrimmage, you know, to the side. So it was okay. no gray. Okay. And you're set up all right. You yeah, normal up? set up, just normal to get off. And instead of kicking off, we just I got kick it left. Okay. Just another day at Dolphins, baby. Another day. Just another day, dog. No more watches. No more watches. That's a big difference, but let's get it. More people watched this Super Bowl than any other show in the history of television. It was high drama, pitting the biggest name in football against the game's greatest story. You gotta love this, buddy. Hey, man, I'm telling you, I've got great. Let's go. I'm in the Super Bowl right now. All season long, we've been special. Right. All season long, we spelled right here. here. Let's go. Tonight, it's time to finish strong. Hold up this trophy for our city. The Peyton Manning and the Colts would be here for the second time in four years is no great surprise. The Drew Brees and the Saints would be here for the first time is just a bit more unexpected. What you thought it'd be? This is our year, this is our game, and tonight will be our night. Drew Brees is six feet tall. Only two quarterbacks that short had ever won the Super Bowl. Lynn Dawson, and Joe Theismann. It wasn't obvious at first that Breeze was up to the task. The Saints punted on their first two possessions. Hey, keep that pressure up the middle. He nervous. He can't even see over y'all. Breeze wasn't the only one struggling. 
Looks left, throws over the middle, wide open, and Colston drops the ball. Marcus Colston wide open. Boy, he is upset with himself, and he needs to be. Against some opponents, there is room for error. Not this one. Just as they had with Kurt Warner and Brett Favre earlier in the playoffs. The Saints wanted to punish Peyton Manning with what they called remember me shots. I'm getting Peyton good, man. Yeah. Three shots now. It was Manning who landed the first haymaker. Ah. We're going to throw it down here on Osama Young. Well, uh, Roman better, better get his back. Ball at the 19 yard line. Third down and six. Pass. It is. Here comes the pressure. He stays in, lost it toward the end zone. The first play with Sama Young's in there, he said, let me get my speed guy and just go over the top with it. I saw that one coming a mile away. Get everything in front of you, yo. Everything in front of you. No big play. With the Colts preventing the big play, the Saints began to make little ones. Looks to his right, throws it to Pierre Thomas, and he bounces off a tackle, stays on his feet, and fights his way down to the 40-yard line. That's a protection, Aaron. Freeney in. The biggest question mark of Super Bowl week was Dwight Freeney's ankle. It wasn't 100%, but Freeney was playing. They are in trouble with their bull. Third down and about five for the Saints. Breeze takes the snap out of the gun. They break Reggie Bush out. Freedy got to it. Yes. He got it. It's like Freedy. That's just a bull rush. He just gets underneath the pads of Jermon Bushrod, pushes him straight back, and then when Drew steps up in the huddle, he disengages from Bushrod and gets the sack. Freedy's sack forced the Saints to settle for a field goal. Hey, get your going let's go you got a chip and stop with the body language back up hell of a job Dwight hell of a job that's guts brother what's up fellas how you doing man how about throwing us a few huh? how about throwing us a few yeah, okay. <laughs> this game set a Super Bowl record for most completed passes over the middle and it's oh. dropped by Garceau. But few catches were as significant as this drop by Pierre Garçon, which forced the Colts to punt for the first time. With offenses as prolific as these, every mistake is magnified. There was no margin for error in Super Bowl 44 for either team. Victory would require near perfection. Breeze out of the shotgun. Throws near side. Lance Moore wide open. Down to the 30. Making a move inside the 25 and pushed out of bounds. Here's your cadence. It's wide open. Here's Breeze thrown over the middle. Colston with a catch. He's to the 10. Inside the 5 to around the 3 yard line. First and goal for the Saints on a 26 yard reception. The Saints had kept Peyton Manning on the bench for all but three plays in the second quarter. With two minutes left in the half, they were one yard from tying the game. You like the, the, um, the slip play? We'll go for it on fourth down. Mike Bell's just got to listen. He can't put his foot in the ground and cut up on this thing. On third down, the Saints ran the slip play. But Mike Bell took it literally. 
So that footing becoming a little bit more precarious in the Saints offense staying right out there. What kind of shoes you got on? Yeah, that figures. Put on the cleats, Brett. He needs to be in screw-ins. He needs to be in screw-ins. That's my fault. I'm thinking base inferno. I don't know how you like that. That's fine, Coach. You love it? I love it. All right. Fourth and goal from just outside the one-yard line. Takes the snap. Gives it off to Pierre. How does he get there? He got knocked down by the big one. So the Saints squander a first and goal opportunity at the three. Come away with nothing. Peyton Manning has still got two timeouts to his disposal with a minute and 49 seconds left on the clock. After watching the Saints gamble fail, the Colts played it safe, running the ball three times and coming up short of a first down. Right back at you. Right back at you. Woo! The Saints would have one more chance to close the gap before halftime. So Brunel puts it down. Hartley has it on its way, and it is good. There we go. Let's go. Yep. 30 more minutes. We got to recover the onside kick, boys. Saints trailing at the half 10 6, and we'll be kicking the football away to begin the second half. Thomas Moore steps into the football, and it's an onside kick. And it's going to be covered up by Chris Reese, I believe. They're still fighting for it. No indication as yet. Still a battle down there. Still a we scrum. Got we got it. We got it. Get it. You get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You win. Hey, we got the ball. Boy, you're talking about not afraid. Sean Payton, he said big games, you got to make tough decisions. Hey, this can't happen. We had the ball. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. White ball. White ball. White ball. There's the first indication. Really unbelievable decision by Sean Payton. Hell yeah. Since we covered the onside kick. Hey, see ya. We got it. See ya. Get on out of here. Chris Reese is the man who recovered it. Be smart with this throw. Bunch right there, fake slash 37, weak F, naked right Z escape, Y boiler. Pierre Thomas has just got some desire when he carries the football. Breaks a tackle there, breaks a tackle there, breaks another tackle, keeps those legs moving. He's got tremendous balance and he's just got so much desire. First down, and then so. There we go. It might be a touchdown. I'm going to just go out on the limb and call it a touchdown. Coverage. We got the look we want. Screen, 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 screen. Breeze sets up the screen. Pierre Thomas. Thomas still on his feet. Down to the five. Makes the move. He's going to score. 16 yards. And Pierre Thomas puts the Saints in the end zone for the first time tonight. With 11 41. To play in the third quarter. The Saints cash in on the gamble, recovering the onside kick, and the Houdats back on their feet as the Saints are in the lead. And this game has swung entirely to the New Orleans Saints. Get that head up. You win. Get this next one going, all right? Get this next one going, all right? Robotic in his consistency. That's how some describe Peyton Manning. Rolls to his right. He throws it downfield. It is caught by Dallas Clark. Takes it to the talk about making any kind of throw that ball was just dropped in there gorgeously by Manning right where it had to be he threw it right in the bucket and he went right back to the well with Dallas Clark to set up a go ahead score let's not let their best player beat us you with me let's not let Clark beat us first and goal at the four yard line 
Colts trying to retake the lead. He'll take the snap. He gives it to a die, trying to bounce it outside right. Cuts to the three, stays on his feet. Joseph Adai, what a run. Why do you keep freaking running, baby? That's what we talk about. Why do you get after it? Dallas Clark's got 149 yards now. Let's not let their best player beat us. That's a sin. Saints don't commit sins. They exercise demons. The NFL's most accurate passer was preaching. And the league's MVP watched as the game's MVP delivered an impressive sermon. Hartley's two out of two, has this one on its way, and it is good. He is three out of three. Flawless tonight as the Saints pull back within a point of the Colts. Reggie Wayne helped set up a Colts field goal attempt early in the fourth quarter. Oh, baby, right. <laughs> Snap, McAfee's down. Stover's kick is way to the left. He missed it. No. The oldest player in Super Bowl history misses it wide to the left and short. So the Saints continue to trail by just one. Boom. There we go. Big stop. Big stop. Take over the game. Hey, get how can you get it any better than this? Being down one, we got the ball in the Super Bowl. You got to be kidding. I want the gas pedal down. Sean Payton's high-octane offense began its final drive with a Reggie Bush run. But it featured Drew Brees' precision passing. Seven completions to seven different receivers. He is in a groove right now, and he's spreading the ball around, and that's what makes it so difficult on the, on the Colts. They don't know who to zero in on. Give me big 20 shocky, Drew. Big 20 shocky. Clock in your head, no sacks. Just punch it in. Just punch it in. Spread wide open. Second and goal from the two. Here's the throw to Shockey, and it's a touchdown. Jeremy Shockey in the slot to the right. Gets inside. Jacob Lacey. The Saints are back in the lead. The Saints lead by five, going for two to increase that lead to seven. I want Lance Moore. The reception is he made. No, he couldn't make it by Lance Moore, and he made a juggle. Did he get in or not? So the Saints fail on a two-point conversion. Can we look at the replay? Did he get it or not? Did he keep it, though? It is reviewable. I don't want to coach you anymore. No, I'm just saying. Do it, do it. Yeah, it. we got it. We got it. I'm going to challenge it. He's crossed the goal line, and then it's kicked out. This is a huge call at this point. It's huge. He juggled the football, yeah. had it on his fingertips as he was down. Uh-huh but still in possession of the ball. The Colts, Lacey, came over and hit it with his foot. Ah, then the ball came free. I don't know. Yeah. After reviewing the play, the receiver had possession of the ball with the uh, ball breaking the plane. The points are good. Two-point conversion. New Orleans is not charged with a timeout. Now it's going to take a touchdown. But again, we got Peyton Manning. Big time players make big time plays. Trace, let's finish it up, man. Let's finish it. Let's go. It's what we live for. Let's go now. Let's go. Sack fumble. Sack fumble. The goal, no matter how complicated it sounded, was to put pressure on Peyton Manning. I don't think they're ready for gut pressure. So you think Ram is better? If you think we can hold up in coverage. Yeah, I'm sure. Sure. All the butch stuff is good, but at some point, some kind of gut I, pressure. I, I like the Ram. Those guys inside us are lighting the the Rams to blow it up. Peyton, I eat Oreos faster than you. I can eat Oreos faster than you. I told him the Oreo joke. I told him the Oreo joke. I don't think he liked it. The Saints defense didn't make Manning laugh or deliver many remember me shots. But their pressure did force Manning to throw a pass that he and the Houdat Nation will never forget. We need to get some pressure on this guy. Takes the snap. 
Pressure coming. He throws. turnover of Super Bowl 44 had the Saints kneeling at football's altar on the verge of their first world championship. 305 now. Uh, you know how to play this thing. I want them to throw it. I want to hit them. Let's not let them just march right down the field, but be smart now. This is an eternity for their offense. I want a piece of juicy fruit. Is it juicy fruit? Juicy fruit. Yeah, but that's what you want, I mean. It's good. Here's Manning again, stepping up, throwing deep downfield, and it is going to be caught by Collie. Manning did march the Colts right down the field, but his bubble was about to burst. Fourth goal from the five. Manning pumps right, looks left, throws over the middle, and it's incomplete. It have won the Super Bowl. We did it, we did it, we did it. We did it. You can hug me. We're a world champion. We're a, hey, let the music play tonight. Second quarter on. Everybody back in New Orleans gets a piece of this trophy. Here we go. 